Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, 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 um, some of you probably should have listened to me over the last couple of weeks when I've made comments about how you should stock up on ammo. Uh, it could potentially uh, become a little bit more scarce and the price could go up here soon. Uh, those kind of things happen when there's always some event that really terrifies people. And based on what happened yesterday, uh, and the comments that I've seen online since, uh, I'd say a lot of people have been purchasing ammo in the last several hours. So who knows, maybe, uh, maybe you missed your time to get in on some decently cheap price ammo over the last few months. Uh, in case you've been living under a rock for the last, I don't know, 16 hours, I, I don't know how long it's been, uh, 18 hours. Uh, Donald Trump was convicted in 34 counts, uh, uh, felony accounts, in his trial in New York, and uh, I don't know that it'll have much chance of, of an appeal based on the fact that the appeal court is one of the most liberal in the country. So it's quite possible that it'll stand. I know that there are other options to appeal it, but it's, it's quite possible. And the Democrats are already uh, trying to come up with a way to kick him off the ballot because of it. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Fact is, is that there's a lot of people that have said, this is it, you crossed the line, um, you know, things are gonna change, things that we've collapsed. Basically all the th same things that folks like myself have already been saying. It's almost like a, <clears throat> they still mostly asleep conservatives uh, woke up yesterday. I don't know, maybe that's not the right way to put it, but that's what it felt like. It wasn't that, from my perspective, it wasn't that what happened yesterday wasn't a big deal. It was watching all the people online comment and like, yeah, it's it's been that way for a while. Yeah, you, you should have awakened you know, months or years ago. But anyways, the fact is, is that uh, it's it's kind of happened and it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Civil war, you know, possible violence, uh, possible uh, things like that. Yeah, it's possible. My gut tells me that it, it's not, if it were to happen, it wouldn't just be because of that. Um, so I'm not too sure. I still think that, that we're going to start seeing other distractions. Uh, July 11th is when they sentence Donald Trump. And that could be another big day because if they sentence him to jail and he goes off to jail, on that day or around that day that that could be yeah could be kind of serious uh, germany yesterday also announced uh that that ukraine could use any of their weapons that they sent to ukraine against directly against russia in russia territory so um i still find it kind of odd that that all came out around the same time because it would seem that there's going to be some kind of event to distract us against, uh, away from what's going on with Trump. Uh, you know, not, not just the conviction, but an imprisonment or something to that effect. So I would be watching for that. Um, I do believe that it's, it's just one more really big nail in the coffin to, to show that this nation is, is done. Regardless of what you feel about Donald Trump, and I say that because I know some of you that are very, very ultra conservative, aren't very, very crazy about Donald Trump. So, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you think of him. The fact is, is what's happened is just, it's pitiful, it's wrong. And we're watching, we've been watching our nation collapse and we're watching our, our justice system completely, it's like the final nail, maybe. Um, and we're watching all of it, all of it. The whole, the whole American system is just falling apart. And not knowing where it's gonna go, not knowing what's gonna happen, um, I just, I don't think it's good. I, I don't know, I, I've, I've got a lot of thoughts and I'm having a hard time putting them into words. I think the bottom line is, is is how it affects us. That's how I always look at it. I mean, we can sit here and we can armchair quarterback all day long what's happened, what's going to happen, what it what it's going to mean for this or that or this or that. And in the end, is is how's it affecting us? 
And I think it will greatly affect us. I think one of the more honest things that Donald Trump ever said is that they weren't after him, they were after us. And it just that he was kind of standing in the way. Well, they've kind of gotten him out of the way, so to speak. I mean, not really, but so to speak. They've at least established a precedent um, that, that using the justice system as a, as a political tool is, is okay. Uh, when you go after, you know, in their mind, they've cut the head off, right? And so the rest of us are fair game. That has the potential to affect us. Um, the, the, the kind of pushback, the kind of uh, just collapse, in, in, in a way of speaking, that's going to happen because of this. We have to be prepared. Uh, you know, I was jokingly saying at the beginning of this video of stocking up on ammo. It wouldn't be a bad idea right now to be doing that or anything else that you feel that you haven't, don't have the adequate supply on. Um, I could see things going south very quickly with this. You know, we, we don't know at what point some kind of political demonstration might cause things to escalate. We've already watched over the last few months um, different types of, of demonstrations, protests, you know, things like that where you have the left and the right out there and they're, they're, they get to be very heated. Uh, now there's something to become even more heated over. And so could any of those, you know, go from just arguing and yelling and a little bit of violence to major violence? Uh, yeah, I see it very possible. And so we have to be ready for that. Um, we have to be ready to watch kind of the final stages, the final breaths of this nation kind of being let out because um, over the next few months, that, that's very, very likely what we will see. It's a dark day. You know, I, I don't consider myself a Republican. I'm an independent. Uh, I'm not a huge Trump fanboy. And, I, and even I'll admit, it's a very dark day for America. And it should be a wake-up call for people that, yeah, it's, it's, things are going south real fast. And we need to, need to be preparing. Uh, we may, you and I may not be able to change what goes on politically. We may not be able to direct the course of the nation or the next president other than with just a single single vote that may not mean that much anymore. Um, but you and I can have great effect on what we are doing as individuals and as our families and as our, in our small communities. And so that's where we need to be putting our focus because all of this other stuff that's going on around the world, Russia, China, Taiwan, uh, Middle East, here in the United States, all of it is just indicators of how bad things are getting and how they're going to progressively worsen. I, I know that's very pessimistic, but it's, it's, I think it's, it's realistic that, um, you know, it's gonna get worse from here and we have to get ready for that. We need to be stocking up, getting your, your, your preps topped off, uh, developing some training that you need. Maybe you need to learn how to do this or that. Now's the time to be doing it. Building relationships with people around you, your neighbors, uh, your little tribe that you're trying to get going, your family, strengthen that. Um, be doing plenty of praying and reading your Bible. And just overall getting yourself into that state of readiness. Uh, because I think from here on out, it's, it's going to start just getting, getting rough. And, and we need to be ready for that. Um, get your houses in order, folks. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.